you see how you see it, Nick? You know, I think the preseason poll was probably a good starting point for them. Uh, we all know 50 cents, and that will get you a good cup of coffee somewhere, maybe. You got to play the games and see how they go. But uh, obviously, Lafayette needs to be a where they are with the amount of people they have returning from the team they've had. Uh, Arkansas State, I think, deserves to be up there with what they've done. And, Joey's done a great job at South Alabama, I think. Uh, they've got the looking, looking good football team. Uh, Todd's done a great job of Monroe. And, uh, and then you got Larry that's always done a great job there. So it's kind of the returners at the top, and then the rest of us filling in. Kind of a newbie returner, I guess. So we the middle of the back. How do you guys look this way? changes on offense, we made changes on defense. Uh, we did a good job of uh, absorbing a, a lot of that in spring. We were having a pretty good summer. Uh, you know, for us, uh, I always allude to the process of going through this would be our uh, get to be in the same conference two years in a row now for the first time since I've been here, and that's kind of exciting. We kind of know some of the colors and the faces and the names now a little bit that we're going to face. We got bowl eligible last year, and uh, we were one of those teams, like many in our league, that didn't quite get a game. And I think our players are hungry, so, so we try to do a little better so they can get one. Uh, you know, for, for what we have gone through, it's unique to a lot of people from Appalachian State, or the Southern so they going through it now, and everything. But our, our first year going back, we were neither fish nor foul. We were in transition. We were in FCS. We were in FBS. We were no for postseason. That was unusual. The second year we went to the WAC. And our stadium wasn't done. We really didn't have a Division One profile. It was the first time for our guys to play 12 FBS games back to back. The year before we played Tech and Wyoming, but that year it was like, whoa, there's another one coming this week. And get used to the change of speed at that level, the change of physicality at that level. Uh, then last year we played in a new league. And, uh, get a little bit of a feel for that. So uh, I'm proud of the fact that we got full eligible in our second year in FBS football. But uh, we need to keep growing. We just want to accomplish a little bit. But I think one of the good things for us is we have our quarterback back. Jones. Uh, he played last year as a true freshman. Uh, 
some nights kind of flew by the seat of his pants, but uh, he has he has what I call it. He you know, just finds a way to get things done and to move his team. And, and uh, I think he's a winner in the state championship in high school. Uh, so that's nice having him back. That's somebody to build around on that side of the ball. And then we have David Mayo and Michael Rackpo here, our two fine linebackers. Uh, probably as good in tandem as I've had. And, and then we have a corner with Craig Mager, who I think is really a good football player. Craig. We've got a guy named Darrell Morris making it to the 49ers and played corner for us a couple years ago. And Craig certainly is in Darrell's category as a tennis player. So you know, we're not without question marks, as every team probably has a little bit at this time of the year, though I'm not sure. Lafayette's only question marks may be who they're going to put in the game if they get a lot of hack. We, we, we've got a few on defense, and uh, we lost some guys in the line and safety that we have to step up and come through. And, uh, offensively, we have a lot of returners. We have 91 career starts back in the offensive line, which is, you know, it's been a long process to rebuild our offensive line. We've got all of our tight ends back, we've got running backs back, for the most part. We've got a little bit new receiver, but I hope we can drop off there. We weren't very good on offense last year, so we had no way to go but up, but I think we Coach, you mentioned some physicality and you brought that word up after you guys played on offense, played the table, <coughs> specifically talking about offensive and defensive line. Um, what have you guys done to address that during the offseason during the spring? Well, I, I think, uh, you, you know, you, the only way to, to address it is twofold, and that is, uh, number one, to recruit. And, uh, you know, we're trying to re upgrade our talent on our roster to more FBS level. And then number two, we try to be as big and strong as we can get in our season program and then take that into practices. Uh, where when we are going to have the opportunity to have a physical practice in offense. Uh, sometimes when you're learning new things on offense and defense, mental impedes physical a little bit. And you have to kind of balance that as you, as you make changes on both sides of the ball. Coach, what are the new teams in the leagues, Georgia Southern? What do you know about them? What do you expect uh, when they come to your place this year? Well, you know, Georgia Southern's been good for a long time, and Willie Fritz does a great job. And I was at Sam Houston, we played him our first year. And he's an old Pitt State gorilla like me. There aren't many of those out there, but uh, we're proud. And uh, Willie will do a good job there. I, I think you know, he's going to make some changes, but they're good changes. And, uh, Georgia Southern and Appalachian State, those guys will fit very well into this league. Uh, there's some familiarity, I, I know, for some of them. So, you know, Appalachians play Troy and some of the teams in this league. So, uh, how quick they get to the level they want to be, it remains to be seen how quick they make the transition. Uh, but they're not void of talent. They beat Florida the last game, so uh, they obviously have some players. Having made that transition yourself, what, do you, what would you think is going to be the toughest thing for them moving up to this this level? I think the toughest thing is just, uh, you know, when I arrived at Texas State, I thought we played the six foot and under. We didn't have the size required to play FBS football. We needed more athletic ability, more speed. And it, it takes time to, to continue to upgrade your roster uh, to the level of player that you need to play in this conference to play FBS football. On a week in, week out basis. Coach, you talked a little bit about John Thompson earlier, but <coughs> what specifically has he done? How has he made you guys uh, better? And just kind of talk about what he brings to the team. You know, John has been a coordinator at three different SEC schools. He's been a head coach. Yeah. Uh, he did a marvelous job at Arkansas State. Uh, I've gone against John. He, he gives you all kinds of problems to deal with. Uh, and then I think the thing that was most impressive to me Followed a fairly popular guy, Craig Nybar, who was our defensive coordinator. Guys. But it, it was really fun to watch him in spring practice because our players embraced him very quickly. John has some kind of magical touch about him that players like his scheme of defense. They, they really like the way he coaches them. Uh, they gravitate to him. Uh, it was really, uh, from, for an old ball coach like me, uh, it was. It was fun to watch him coach his guys and to see them get better as spring practice went on. And we're, we're not where we need to be after 15 practices, but you know, with John and, and the, the water under the bridge he's had, you know, we got a lot of confidence things are going to 
put it worked out to have changed space goes like this. With how much money you bring it back? You get them at home this year, but what do you see as maybe a, any weakness to a zero How do you approach a team which is that much balance across the board? Well, I'm not sure we have very many answers. They beat the tar out of us last year in Lafayette. Um, you know, they faltered down the end a little bit. But I know Winsor's got a little bit there. And, uh, I think just, I don't know if there's uh, anything to exploit. They've got good players. And they've had good, good success. Uh, just the fact that we, we've had another year in this league. And, uh, when Lafayette comes on field, we know we've got to strap on tight and get ready to play because they can play good and they got, they've got good players. There you go. So uh, I just hope that the fact that we've got them at home, it's a weeknight game, they've got a good student body there, our players have a better understanding of what this league is about and what playing Lafayette is about. Like I told our coaches when they went out to recruit, if they don't look like Lafayette's players, they'll bring them back. So, they, they've done a great job. Really. Just tip your hat to them. All sports are doing their baseball is really good. They've got things going in a good direction there. It's good to see. It's good for our league.